Here's the tunnel from the other side. All right, we're on the south side of the loop. It's generally easier running, although the first hoop was really pretty nice. No real gripes about that. This part is more heavily used. Hikers and hunters and whatnot. You can see the side trail there that people come in on. The trucks over here. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
these names. here. pretty much runnable which is nice and of course as soon as I say that I'll twist my ankle or fall or something side yesterday Hunter's Hollow Loop last week did Winterhawk Loop I think of the three this is my favorite better views more runnable. And of course it has the tunnel which is kind of fun. Seven and nine miles, depending on how you do the loop. And then the loop from Winter Hawk up to Kilburn Road, across to the uh, west side of the reservoir and back down to the Horseman's Camp. Place of the car is about 15 miles. This loop, if we do the whole thing, is 14. So. That's about 37 miles. The trail's right over here. That's not including the Rocks and Roots Trail. This is about 12 or 13 miles. 
so that gets you up to 50 miles that's a pretty nice loop without too much repeat a few out and backs but uh can put together a nice trail run Not too bad. It feels invigorating. Nine degrees. Progress. I remember running all these when there were no bridges, any of these crossings. Boy, my hands are cold. Now they're warm, I have to take my gloves off. I'm sure I'll have to put them back on again. I want your hands to get all sweaty in the gloves. here
trails, but it's nice to have a little variety to kind of break it up a little bit. It's something like running through the cut for the power lines is kind of welcome. Certainly the having the reservoir next makes it nice. Oh, my footprints went away. Oh, they're back. Where he went? Oh, I guess he's on the other trail there. trees here. It's fun to run through. Once you have roots right at the surface that try to grab your ankles, so you gotta watch out for that. It's really pretty. Two on track snow. It's a little hard to follow the path, but kind of nice to be the first one other than these animals to track through the snow. About close to five miles here. Another half mile till we hit our loop at the end, which is three miles. Anybody's used that picnic table lately. 